Hello there. Good morning. Oh my gosh. Whoa, that was loud, wasn't it? Let's turn this down. Woof. That's a loud mic. Okay. Still needs to There we go. Oh my goodness. Hey guys. Top of the morning to you. This lovely winter morning. Okay. All right. What are we doing? So I think uh, someone had asked if Nooch could do an earlier stream because they're not, they're in bed during Nooch's normal stream time. And Nooch's normal stream time is set because you know, Nooch has a job and works all day. And then, you know, you got stuff going on after work. You take care of it. You get on later at night, like 9, 9.30 at night, and you do a stream. That's how it normally works. But so what we decided to do was get up this morning and show you Nooch's morning routine. You know, we're playing we're playing uh, Star Wars Galaxy Heroes. We're playing Lego Star Wars Battles. We're playing uh, Lego Legacy Heroes Unboxed. And so we'll show you what we go through and what Nooch goes through every morning to get these games moving. Usually this is something that covers over several hours. You know, you might, might get it all done by lunch. Uh, and usually, actually by now, I've done like the majority of this because I can just flip through especially Galaxy Heroes and Lego Legacy most part I can just flip through and and take care of the daily activities but let's go ahead and uh, collect our morning reward so Nooch has uh, left this brick expedition for this morning which usually we do Nooch takes care of at night and the thing is we need to do this first thing because there is a timed quest that expires, oh, that's one day. No, we have plenty of time. We're going to do it anyway. Um, so maybe we'll come back around to that at the end. We'll do Brickspedition at the very end of this. So let's go through the morning activities. Good morning, Adam and Sequence. Welcome aboard. Yeah, usually I'm missing out on you guys. Don't get to see you on streams, I guess, because it's a different time of day. Is that uh, Would that be fair? I'm glad to see you this morning. So maybe we'll have to do this more often where we can get uh, more folks on board with the stream. I feel like, I feel like my, like, my face isn't washed out here, but it looks washed out here. Hmm. Yeah, whatever. You know, you guys, this is the money maker. This is the money maker. This is how Nooch makes his money. So you got to make sure it looks good. So, all right. So let's go ahead and get our... These are our so Lego Legacy morning activities. We're going to go in here to challenges. We're going to knock these suckers out. Whew, tomorrow we'll have all uh, six of these to knock out. You know, I remember the new the new development team came on, and one of the first things they said they're going to do is is quality of life improvements. And I think Nooch and Bricko were both like, "I don't understand that. That's uh, you know, we've got we don't need a lot of quality of life. You know, we can come in the morning. I'm going to do these morning activities in less than five minutes. I don't need a lot of quality of life. Um, now, Brickspedition will probably take half an hour." Uh, or less. We'll run through that later. Um, but yeah, we do this every morning. We get up, we run through Lego Legacy. I'll kind of show you what we're farming and how we're farming because, you know, if you are if you are a Lego Legacy fan, you know that Nooch has been farming extra tiles in order to... We're saving up the uh, event currency. Here's no reason to spend it yet. Unless Yeti is in range, is he? That's 9 times 10, 30. No. Okay. Uh, I usually buy everything. Actually, I always buy everything in the general store just because it's cheap. And you never know when they're gonna take gear and change it around to when you can convert you can convert a bunch of gear into one other piece of gear. So I might as well have all the gear on hand that I can. Not farming anything in Brick Expedition uh, shop because I could buy Hank tiles, Castaway Hank or Demolition Dummy. But I think I'm better off just saving at this point. The dojo is ready to max out. I just haven't done it yet. Uh, mashup, there's nothing to buy. It's all bought except Lighthouse, and Nooch is not gonna max out the Lighthouse. That's not worth my currency. Uh, unless we get an event that requires it. Gil, we're farming Spooky Girl. Arena, we're farming Scarlet. And there's a Master Tile. And they were farming Gens, and you all know that. So, what do you think about the new devs team? I, I don't know, man. It's, um... There's not much to weigh in on yet, is there, for the new devs team for LEGO Legacy? I mean, they are just kind of... Quite bluntly, um... Haven't really added anything to the game at this point. I think the All-Star events were already built in lego legacy and they just kind of expanded it 
Sometimes I, uh, sometimes Nooch will, let's go ahead, we'll buy an extra energy here. Really, we're trying to get Yeti up as far as I can get him during the event. Although it sounds like this event will be back like in three months or something. Okay, so we're halfway there and we'll be able to, so, so by the end of this event, which is another seven days, we'll have Yeti to six stars. And then maybe we can go farther in the cool kids. Oh, oh, wait, missed something there. Got to do this. So for those of you who don't get to do double, you know, farming on these, this is it right here. This is the second farm of this. And you can see that I think it refreshes. It ends in 53 minutes. So mm -hmm. by the end of the stream, we'll be able to come back in and do the next day of stuff. We can't get days. Uh, yeah, let's try this. You know what? I haven't tried this in a while. So there's our ice glider, and we need city. You know, I have a lot of tiles for Baker. I could level him up and put him in there for like... Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do that while we're here. Not Baker. Chef. I always call him Baker. I don't know why that is. Uh, chef. Or I could level up Primo and put him in there. Let's level up Chef. Yeah, why not? So here we are. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> hey guys, by the way, this is what you can do when you uh, when you hoard up your gold and and save your gear and everything you can do something like this you know at a moment's notice if you're just spending it all the time you don't uh, now i gotta do this this is painful i wish there was a button since i have all the gear just to gear it up that's what we get in galaxy heroes and it's really nice so let's go ahead and level up chef and let's see if we can tackle that final note of the city um weekly event <laughs> Should we be playing some music in the background here? Uh, let's go ahead. Let's let's get some music in here. I feel like there's something missing. Okay. Is this it? Is this it? Yeah, that's it. There we go. There we go. Now we got some music in the background. As always, let Nooch know if the music is too loud. I don't, it's hard for me to tell um, while I'm here talking, so... This music, by the way, uh, let's see what it's called. Uh, mash you. <laughs> you don't know what kind of problems they have with the transition to help them. Make. Yeah, you know. Um, <laughs> whoops. Hey, there's Nooch's folders. Uh, this game needs new characters like nobody's business. It's been months. Bada ba. This is called Bada ba by Mash you. Um, we haven't had new characters released in this game since Ghost, I believe, was re Ghost and Gens were released in like late September, and then we got the Ghost event in late October. So you're going on November, December, January. We're going on th somewhere around four months without a new character in a game that is just now a year, not even quite a year old. So you're talking at the. <laughs> So, I guess the beta came out in November, two years ago. And, oh, wow, we're missing a piece of gear. What do we need for this? Four of these. Huh. There we go. Um, so, this, so, the beta for this game came out two Novembers ago. So, I guess... Technically, it's been out since then, which would be uh, one year and two months, or one year and three months. But, I mean, the game was only released last February, so we're less than a year, and you... So at the, at the seven or eight month mark of a brand new game, they stopped releasing new characters of a farming game, of a, of a gotcha game. And so, like, Nooch knows we're at Gear 5, we're stopping there. So, um... Nooch's pal Bertini has been playing this game free to play. Yeah, that speed down is kind of important. Okay. So Nooch's pal Bertini has been playing this game free to play since the very beginning of the beta. And he has no characters left to farm. He's got, I mean, I guess he could go to the Master Tile Shop, but I mean, he's out of farming, like regular farming. 
And that's not good for your game. Let's see here. Do we want this? 70% damage to target foe removes 50% of their pep and flicks dizzy. Another 25% of pep, so that would be 75% of pep. You know what? You can't take it with you. There we go. Alright, now let's go on that final city node. So yeah, this game needs a lot of new characters. I mean, there should be monthly character releases in LEGO Legacy. Hey Ben, good morning. Hi, welcome aboard. Hi, I'm glad you're here. You were the one that had to ask if we could do an earlier stream, so I'm glad you're able to attend. David, welcome aboard. And Lightning. I banned this idiot. This guy has already been banned. So he must have... So the troll's back, guys. There he is. So the troll must have come on. Hold on. We're going to check a couple of things here real quick. This guy has already been banned. Okay. So there you go. Newt just had this troll who's been coming into videos and leaving nasty comments. And so he must actually... Have, so the troll's back, guys. There he is. Whoop. So the troll must have come on. What's going on here? Okay. Sorry. Uh, I was getting feedback there. So this uh, this troll has mirrored Newt's account, Newt Mobile. Uh, not only come into uh, the news videos and left comments, went on to a stream of like a family-friendly Lego channel and um, was talking about doing drugs during their stream. And you know, that's that's uh, it's unfortunate this stuff is available on the internet, but you know, I guess again, Nooch is flattered that at 540 subscribers, there's a person out there that has found it worth their time to spend hours a day trolling, like hours a day trolling Nooch. So much time has been spent on this, so. Welcome, troll. You've been banned again. I guess you found another way to create another duplicate account. And there it is. So, Ben, Lightning, David, hi, hi, Sequence, Adam. Welcome aboard, guys. I'm glad to see this is like a, a whole new... Um, watch it. <laughs> I'm trying to wait to make sure I'm back. I, I can see the Nooch talking there for a minute. Um, yeah. Okay, I think we're back. Somebody let Nooch know that we're back before we see it. So, so yeah, let's see here. Nooch got disconnected. So the the um, the power gave out only for like five seconds, but that was enough to shut her down. Maybe that was the troll. The troll is uh, hitting Nooch's power grid. Thanks for hanging around, guys. Sorry. <laughs> okay, uh, I thought I just banned this guy. I don't know how he got back. Huh. Thank you. Okay. Can you, can you guys? All right. So, yeah. So, guys, the uh, got it, got it frozen. Yes, disconnected. The ghost event. Yeah, Nooch doesn't have ghost event because he already did it all to the max. He looks upset. <laughs> okay. Woo. All right. So power gave out. We had to uh, we had to had to reset the router, the computer, all that good stuff. Fun, fun, fun. Okay. So let's go. <laughs> you try and do something new, and I I, I got to tell you before we jump in here, Nooch is really really excited. This is an entirely different crowd of people than Nooch is used to having to. And I I'm only I, maybe we'll start doing this every weekend. Nooch will have an 8 a.m. stream on on Saturday or Sunday every weekend. And we'll come on and do this, or we'll find some activities we can do with uh, with our different games. And uh, so we're going to play all three games today, run through them. I'm really, really happy to see this. This is exciting to have some people on that aren't normally on, because we're at a pretty much an opposite time of day. So happy to have everybody aboard. So let's go and jump in this last note here, um, and let's get rid of... Uh, I don't even know his name. Uh, Crook. Crook Chuck. There you go. So, I think we need to upgrade Poppy, though, too, before we go in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's look at these guys. I don't want to go in there um, undermanned. So, we could actually... Okay, let's... Let's level up. Let's star up Poppy. Okay. Well, this is... I, I wasn't thinking this is what I was going to be spending all this gold on, but you know what? Um, there we go. We got her to six stars. We can get her to gear five. Gear up. 
Okay, we're not going any farther. Plus 5% chance to gain one stack of courage and a 2% bonus chance. So 5% bonus chance for each other's. It's pretty significant. Hero gains three stacks. If they're 30% health, they gain hardy. So if they have less than 25% health, upgrade grit to grit two. And if that hero is a role model, refresh your cooldowns by one. Only role model. We're not using Ash or. Yeah, we don't have a role model. Okay. Um, heal all heroes for 20%. Okay, this is one we want to upgrade. Yeah. There we go. If if five stacks were cleared, clear in two random debuffs from all heroes. It's kind of a big deal. I don't know. We'll see. I don't really want to spend it. Poppy's max health is increased by 5% for each stack of courage. Okay. Whenever she gains a stack of courage, she heals the hero with the lowest health for 5%. For 7%. Yeah, that's worth it. That's worth it. Okay. Holly, that, that's actually pretty good. Okay, let's. I think. I really like Sal. Newt's like, let's get Sal up to gear six. He's a really good tank. Especially when he clears debuffs and turns him into more health. Okay. Okay, so you're watching Newt's upgrade his city team live. I wasn't really thinking about this. If he's already at 100% health, he also grants Hardy to another. Uh, I like that, but I'm not going to pay for it. Okay. Hey, only Android, don't do that. Um, let's see here. There's some mean videos on you at Nish. Yeah, David. Uh, who cares? That guy's a, that guy's useless. Um, you know, season 14 trailer for oh for uh, Ninjago or for what? It's season 14 of what? For Never crowd. Yeah, maybe it's because time difference. Yeah, I, it's definitely the time difference. I think all of you guys. That's really strange. Um, only Android has actually been a pretty friendly guy to this point. That's really weird to throw that on there. And, uh, so, yeah. Hey, buddy. Thanks. Appreciate. It. It's just I just don't want to fill up the the chat was spam yeah so I think this is definitely a time for the European folks to get in I think that's what I've been missing by streaming at night the problem is if you listen to Nooch earlier um, generally because Nooch works and has a family and everything that late night USA stream 9 930 something like that is usually the best time for Nooch to get in there and do it so okay collect these we don't really need any uh, achievements look we got an achievement Upgrade a hero ability 500 times. 50 gems. Take it. Thank you. Alright. Now we're ready to go into this final city node. Let's see what we can do. So we got our ice glider. We don't want we don't want uh, crook chuck in there. And let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So Nooch is Ninjago. Okay. Um, yeah, Nooch is really, really excited that... Uh, I don't think I can express the amount of excitement here. I'm gonna turn this light down a little bit. Hang on. That is better. I was washing out my face with that light. Okay. I don't even know what to do with this. Uh, heals all heroes. We don't need that. Deal 75% damage to target foe. Remove 75% of their pep. And inflict dizzy on them. Let's save that. Let's see if we can inflict speed down on Lloyd here. There we go. We hit it. Now we just want to smack him. And he dodged. Of course Lloyd dodged. Because that's what Lloyd does. Okay, we don't need to heal everybody, right? We need to get some courage. No. Okay, yeah, we need to do this basic and build up some courage. There's one. Let's go ahead and taunt with Sal and see if we can get some debuffs on him. Dodge, counter, whatever. Okay. Heal. Give them one stack of heal over time. City heroes also gain speed up. Oh, well, there we go. Uh, 
yes, speed up is necessary. Okay, we got taunts on the dummies. We got taunts on Yeti. They've all got counterattack. Ugh. I think I'd rather take counterattacks from the dump from the dummies than Yeti. I want to keep doing basics and gaining courage with her. Okay, there. We'll get some debuffs on him. Oh, do those guys ignore... Okay, there we go. We have three debuffs. That's what we wanted. Deal 75% damage and remove 75% of their pep and inflict dizzy on them. So let's do that to Yeti because then he can't counterattack. And he's got a lot of pep. There we go. Now we can hit Yeti. That was actually really nice. Yeah, it's time to heal. Let's see here. So we heal for our, all for 25% of her max health. That was moderately interesting. Uh, okay, let's let's get Yeti. See if we can get him out of here. Wait, we don't have a lot of offense on this team. Pretty much, it's businessman for the offense and nobody else. There we go. And that's not that much offense. Three stacks healer time and grid up with that less than 30% of health they gain hardy. I don't think she has less than 30%. Okay. Taunt. This is gonna take forever. Alright. Let us stop talking and just go. Lloyd's gotta go. Man. How many tanks can one team have? That's good. My goodness, guys. I hope you got some time this morning. <laughs> Take out one demi because he's, he's AoE right. Raw Stars are getting a space update. That's kind of cool. So Nucci's using strategy from a Euro. A year ago. Yeah, we'll do the Emperor here, David. Don't worry. Yeah, hi. Nucci has four kids. Nucci has four boys. Uh, Nucci is an old man. So this is going to go speed down. Here we go. Nooch has four boys. Uh, two of them are in college. One is in is working. Is a uh, He is a gymnastics coach. He was a gymnast when he was younger. Speed down. I like that speed down. I'll tell you that. Uh, so this first round is going much better than it's ever gone. I guess because Nooch upgraded his city team. And then Nooch has a, a one son that turned 13 years old a couple days ago. So there you go. Courage. There we go. Maybe should have. Uh, I should have done the special there. Get dizzy. That's all right. We're not taking much damage, so that's helpful. There's a lot of heal on this team. That's for sure. There we go. Now we can get Lloyd out. Yeah, uh, Sal's actually a really, really good tank. Nooch likes him a lot, especially his ability to heal up with debuffs. So. I, think, I think we'll save the special. One more. Come on. There we go. Okay, still got 11 left. Okay, as always, when Kai shows up, Kai has to go. Keep stacking. Give me another stack. There you go. Come on, guys. Need some damage. Need another big hit. Where's Chef? Come on, Chef. Ugh. Ew! Which one of these is better? I can't 
Okay. 75% roof, 75% of their pet. There we go. Done. There you go. That's a beautiful ability. She lost all of her stacks. Of course. Come on. Come on. I just want to go offense. I need him gone like that. There we go. Okay. I'm generally desperate to get Kai off of the field. I'm going to heal everybody. This is, a lot. this is nice. So all we're doing is healing and taunting. And since we're not using Ash, and they don't have a tank right now, it looks like. Ooh, what does this do? Does this remove buffs? No. She needs to get some stacks back. She lost all of her stacks. Wu kind of did a number on us there. Get him out. Ah. Oy vey. Oy vey. I'm just spreading this around too much. Here we go. Get rid of that pep. Boom! That's a great ability. I wish I could do this on the computer, but unfortunately, that ability is gone. We're gonna need some healing here in a second from somebody. Uh, from herself. Woo's get coming. There we go. Woo's gone. There. That's that. That matters. Yeah. Without Ash, I this Ash is probably the offense that we're missing, right? Well, they have an ice glider, but they don't have Aurora. So thank you. Okay. Did he gain Hardy? I thought he was below thirty percent. Hmm. Hey, Ben, yeah, the electricity went out. Hi, Nooch is 48. 20 with four boys. <laughs> Nooch looks 50. Thanks, Dan. Thank you, Dan. <laughs> You're a jerk. <laughs> Nooch looks 50. Come on, man. Nooch is youthful. Nooch... Uh, on one of these streams, somebody told Nucci looked like 14. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Everybody goes, what? <laughs> so I don't remember who it was. He's like, yeah, you look... How old are you? I'm like, oh, like 48. The guy goes, oh, I thought you were like 14. Everybody goes, what are you talking about? And he's like, well, I guess he looks younger on my phone. <laughs> if, you, if you put Nucci on the phone and make him real small, he looks younger. <laughs> Oh my. So thanks for that. Okay, I want to get Naya out of She's been around way too long. Okay. Nope, oh, we're just going at it. So, yeah, this team is actually holding up pretty well. Once you upgrade them, there's, a, there's so much healing. You've got heal with everybody except Businessman has a heal ability. Um, I'm going to keep stacking up with her. I think I'll use Chef to heal everybody back up to full. I don't need to taunt right now. Yeah, we're gonna use Chef's heal, like right here. Everybody's gonna be at full health. We're saving all of our specials for the final battle. Final countdown. And now we got four stacks on uh, Poppy over there, so that might work out nice. Oh, come on. Stop dodging. Now she's got five stacks. That's I think five is her max. We'll take a look at her ability here in a second. All right, everybody's at full health. All abilities are saved. Uh, it doesn't say there's a max. Let's see. She didn't get one, but there's a 45% chance or whatever. Okay, two yetis. This is where the challenge. So now we have to kill two yetis and Aurora. Okay. Let's try and go after her first. 
We need a big hit from somebody. Like right here, business. Not big enough. Okay, okay. Can Poppy get a crit somehow? Ooh, gosh darn it. Now we got time. Well, we've only got one heal. The only heal is from... Okay. See, I want to zap her pet, but I can't. We didn't get speed down on Yeti. That's unfortunate. But she used her heal on herself, so we know she's used it now. So if we can get through these... I think we're in good shape, guys. I think we're in super shape. It only costs about 7,000 of our gold. Ah, <sighs> okay. Um... One more shot. There's one Yeti down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This... Ah... Forget about these things. Although... Now with the nerf on the ice glider, she won't be able to just keep resurrecting him over and over and over again. Probably should just let him use his own special on that. Looks like five is her max stacks. That seems right, but I, when I looked there real briefly, I didn't see it anywhere. Let's take his pep out. Where are your pep? There you go. Heal up. Now he doesn't have taunt, though. We're going to have to get taunt back to him. Big shot. Come on, get him out. Good boy. Okay, now we got to get Aurora out of here. I think we need to heal first. Everybody big heal. 5,000. There we go. Okay, now we go... Uh, boy, I, boy, I tell you what. Before the ice cutter was nerfed, I'll bet this was a disaster. Because you would just keep going around and around and around and around. She'd just keep like doing that over and over and over again. But now we can get rid of this Yeti. And she's going to be a couple turns away from using that Ice Glider. So, we take her out. And we're about done. Boom! Let's auto this sucker. Okay, there you go, guys. So, we just finished the final level of the City Weekly Event. Live! Live in a person on LHU, Lego Legacy. Final do down? Did you say do down? Yeah, that will, you know, that will start getting, we start, we'll start getting the green elixirs there. Like 15 a week, it looks like. Actually, 30 a week, because we'll do it twice. Nice. All right. Big fan, big fan. <sighs> okay, so let's go ahead and finish our dailies here. We were in the middle of doing that. I'm going to go over here to Glyph Hunt level 2. And all we're farming is extra tiles right now. We got Darwin maxed. So we're just farming extra tiles so we can go max so we can get gens. Right now gens is at 4 stars. And we're just farming him in the master store. And Nooch does the 250s each day on this and on uh, Monolith Waste. And, of course, we hit zero there, so hallelujah. Pip Town level one, hiker. This is all Nooch has been doing in 2021, right from the very beginning. As soon as they released gens into the Master Shop, Nooch started just farming tiles. Because I, I don't feel like there's any characters that I really desperately need at this point for anything. Most of the characters I have a bunch of tiles on, or I've already got it six or seven stars. And that seems to be where we need them for events. All right, let's go ahead and jump into Model of Waste. Always start with uh, Great White here because he's got the set tools. And I max out this. And then from here, I'll jump over to two or one. Do um, We'll do the Guarded In because I've already got that maxed. And we're just getting extra tiles. We'll show you where we... We'll just go to the Master Shop after this and show you where we spend them all, so... And this is what we're doing every single day. Refresh this twice. Refresh the uh, other one twice. And just farm as many extra tiles as we can get. I'm, I'm wondering, now Nooch is kind of wondering if once we get gens up to five stars, maybe maybe that would be time to get after Willa a little bit. So uh, we'll kind of see how, how that goes. That'll just have to be a decision at the time because getting to six stars is going to take a while, maybe a month and a half or more. We might be able to unlock Willa in that time frame instead of trying to get gens. I'd, I'd rather have a five-star gens and working toward unlocking Willa, I think, 
then try to get a, uh, working on gens to six stars. So that's kind of Nooch's mindset, but we'll kind of see once we get there, once we get gens to five stars, how Nooch feels about it then. Okay, we're not gonna spend that. Okay, so we take all those tiles back over here to the shop. Collect them. And we are at 445. Well, that's disappointing. But, you know, if we had 450, we'd get another Space Pen Gens. I kind of regret doing Kartofsky now, but that's all right. And then I think we can get to uh, Will of the Witch. 50 tiles, we could probably do that in a week. It's like three a day. 20, we can probably get, get her in like two to two and a half weeks, something like that. Do one of these. And that's not where we wanted to go. Uh, generally save the arena for later in the day because Nooch's payout is later and I really don't want to go stepping on people. We're not going to do arena. This is so Nooch's arena team right now. I don't want to step on people's payouts. Like if their payout is now, here's what Nooch is using. I've kind of subbed in Kelvin for Ghost back and forth a little bit, but um, Ghost is working fine. Okay. That's our Lego Legacy. That's the entire morning. We'll come back at the end of the stream and do Brickspedition. But for now, we are going to, we're going to go back to the webcam when Nooch is bringing up different stuff. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go to this and um well yeah this is undone so yeah when we when the electricity went out i lost this going over star wars galaxy heroes now space isn't ready for six star okay who's drinking Damn, why does Nooch need to max out the lighthouse? I'm not a, I don't get, that's something, I don't, lighthouse kind of sucks. Is there a reason? Yeah, Nooch just loots every day, just loot, 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 loot. Uh, Teo, I, uh, um, the reason that Nooch doesn't just spend his coins uh, was just demonstrated actually, I think before you came on. So we got to that final city node, and since we're here, Nooch decided to go ahead and do it. But it cost, it ended up costing like 5 million coins. We upgraded Chef from 3 stars up to 6 stars. We upgraded Poppy from 3 stars to 6 stars. And to do that, Nooch had everything saved. Had all the coin hoarded. Had a bunch of gear hoarded. So we were able to get them both up to gear 5 or 6. Um, so that's why Nooch doesn't spend it. Nooch saves it for an event like that where you need it and you can you have it all saved up. And you can spend it then when you need it. So Nooch kind of recommends that as a hoarding strategy instead of just spending it all at once as soon as you get it uh, when you got stuff. So that's why that's why I don't spend it all right away. Thanks, Lego Ninjago fan. Look at the light. You have to tell me, Lighthouse sucks, but you get Master Tiles and T2 set tools. Really? We'll, we'll look at that later. Let's go ahead. So here we are on Nooch's free-to-play Star, Star Wars Galaxy Heroes account. If you guys aren't playing this, it's a very similar... Lego Legacy is actually kind of a clone of Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. Um, and Nooch just started this account here about uh, about a month ago. And uh, we're going to level up this, this TIE Fighter now. Um, and we've been working on playing this free-to-play and kind of demonstrating it. We're trying to get after Supreme Leader Kylo. Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. Supreme Leader. So if you guys don't play Galaxy Heroes, this is, uh, here we go. We're just kind of showing it to you. If you like Star Wars and you like Lego Legacy, you will like Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. And if you like Star Wars Galaxy Heroes and you like Lego, you will like Lego Legacy. And we will come back. There we go. Look at that. We just unbought, we just unlocked uh, 25 shards of Ahsoka. That's nice. That's actually really nice. We're completing our morning activity. You can see we got the same thing here, guys. We're farming. We get challenges. We've already done those. So here, let's finish off these challenges. So you get Tier 2 set tools from the lighthouse. Well, then maybe we'll, we do need to farm that. We'll have to go. We'll look at the end of the... When we come back, we're going to come back around to Brickspedition at the end of the stream, and then we'll take a look at it, okay? You know nothing of Star Wars? Oh, no. Oh no, how is that possible? 
Nooch was Nooch was uh, was uh, raised on Star Wars. No, I don't want to be friends with you, and I don't want to be friends with you. New to Star Wars Galaxy Heroes. Hey, Luke, welcome aboard. Yeah, glad, glad that hopefully that you're able to get some use out of Nooch's videos, kind of showing how this game works. Right now, Nooch is farming these speed mods. Um, so speed mods are one of the most important things you can have. Ooh, there's a nice one. What do we get here? Oh, that's a nice one. You want you want these speed secondaries on the arrow. You got a speed primary. That'll be 30 speed when we upgrade it. And we're going to throw that right on Emperor Palpatine. Okay. Going in here, farming our guys. We might get Kylo's ship leveled up today, too. We shall see. Let's go ahead and promote him. General Reviews is now five stars. Nope. So we've been farming on uh, everyday Nooch Farms. First Order Stormtrooper, Boba Fett, General Veers, First Order TIE Pilot, which we've already done our farm there. And I'm not refreshing any of those because that costs crystals and we're free to play, so we don't want to spend a ton of crystals. And we're farming Hux. The First Order. And the Sith Trooper. There we go. Yeah, well, you know, Adam, that's that's great because everybody's got a different thing, right? Um, Nooch, actually, the very first movie that Nooch ever saw at the movie theater was actually a drive-in at the time. That's how old Nooch is. It's a drive-in movie theater. We, we went and saw Star Wars, the, the original A New Hope. It would be called now. At the time, it was just called Star Wars. Um, and by the way, ships is just kind of a, is kind of eating Nooch up right now. So I can't really farm this one. I got this one on two stars. I, I need to level up some ships. So we're working on that. I'm trying to get Anakin Starfighter here, but I got to activate Anakin for that to be useful. And I'm just farming this TIE Fighter because it's useful to me right now. But it won't be long term, will not be useful. Ships are kind of tough, man. All right, let's go ahead and upgrade the Special Forces TIE Fighter. And let's get it. Can we get it up a level? Yeah, that's expensive, but we'll do it. Uh, well, that's kind of our morning there. We've already actually done Galactic War. This, this free-to-play account Nooch has, he does it at night. 1977, actually, Dan. 77, baby. Um, Nooch was five. We used to put patches. I remember Nooch's mom would put patches on his jeans. I think we can beat this team. Let's go ahead and do an arena battle. Oh, actually, let's let's see if we can get that uh, that cool mod onto Palpatine. We got a speed mod here, but it only goes to 21. This one's going to go to 30. Very nice. Kind of hurt his other stuff, though. More damage. Okay. And let's see where we can put that. we got to put that other mod on somebody. Maybe on Akbar. I think he's got speed. He's already got one of those. Well, somebody's getting that. I don't care even if it doesn't work with their, their uh, set. Somebody's getting some extra speed. Tarkin has speed. Uh, I'm not putting it there because he needs the offense and he gets automatic speed. Um, maybe right here. That's right, you got 21. Huh. I'll figure out what to do with that speed arrow later. Yeah, we'll figure out what to do with it later. <laughs> <laughs> I think the gold standard was abandoned in, in 1972 by Richard Nixon. If we're remembering abandoning, abandoning the gold standard. This is nice because he uses this ability all the time. Okay. Um, so I believe Richard Nixon abandoned the gold standard in 1972. Now let's go in here and fight. Let's see if we can find that. So Nooch kind of cherry picks Phoenix teams to beat in arena like this one. 
You can see we're 10,000 less on the power for this one, and they're all seven stars, so it'll be a challenge. And this is the team we're rolling with. We'll do this, and we'll do a ship arena, and then we'll jump over to Nucha's main account and show you the morning activities for that account. Stun everyone, Emperor Palpatine. Do it. Stun the other team. Stun them now. Do it. The dark side. Um, let's see if this works. We'll do this in slow motion, guys. Throw his saber. Almost. The dark side is many abilities. I don't even know the right quote. Many abilities that would seem unnatural to some. Have you heard the tale of Darth Plagueis the Wise? Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, Nooch was alive in 1978, guys. <laughs> How about them apples? <laughs> oh, boy. So, uh, Luke, how's your account doing? You have the perfect name to play Star Wars, by the way. We're doing more damage on that now. He's got 10 debuffs. Watch this. Watch this. Boom! 14k. That wasn't even a critical hit. Vader is awesome. You know, Vader, for, for a long time, Noose has been playing this game for five, well, more than five years now. And for a long time, Vader was just okay. Like, and then they, they, uh, maybe a couple years ago, they, oh, that was nice. They, uh, they reworked Vader and made him into an awesome character. And then when the GLs, the Galactic Legends were released with first with Ray and Kylo, the reworked Vader, I don't know if they reworked him again, but the reworked Vader came in really handy. He's really good against the GLs. Actually, Nooch has only got, right now, we're working on the Lego sets, Adam, so you can see right back here, there, well, we'll go grab it. When Nooch is going to do Lego sets, it's probably going to be mostly Star Wars, because that's what Nooch is into. You can see here's Boba Fett, Boba Fett's bust. This is the only Lego set Nooch has right now. We got some, we got some micro um, vehicles back there, which is like a, a Bantha and a, a, T, a T-16, a T-14. And then we're going to be assembling. See here, Grogu. Oh, you can't see him. we got Kylo in the way. We're going to be assembling Grogu next week. On this day, um, it'll be at 1 o'clock p.m. Nooch's time, which is about four hours from right now, next Sunday, same day. We're going to be doing the Grogu assembly live. We're going to live stream it right here. So come on back. Yeah, Dan, it does take time to play these collectibles, but honestly, um, the uh, when you get everything to where you can you can sim it or you can loot it, it's not as bad. So we're looking for not these big old four and five star ships right now. We can't handle them. Um, this we'll take this on. Was three thousand? Yeah, it was three thousand. Maybe now he's over nine thousand. I think I'm going to go back to this. I used to do it this way, and I think this is the way to do it. So, yeah, Nooch is actually, Nooch has never, Star, what is up, man? How you doing? Good to see you. Hey, Nooch did this time because people in, uh, in your neck of the woods were saying that they couldn't attend Nooch's streams because they were on when they were in bed. So, glad, to, really glad to see you. Welcome aboard. Guys, Shooting Star has been a, uh, a, uh, a friend of Nooch's in this game, Star Wars Galaxy Heroes 4, um, basically the entire time we've been playing, we've been in the same, we're in the same, um, there we go, that was nice. We are in the same character shard on Nooch's main account. And again, we'll be doing Nooch's main account here shortly. Kind of show you what's going on over there. So welcome aboard. Hey, Adam, thanks for joining. Really glad to have you. Well, yeah, so Nooch is going to have to figure out, Dan, what are you selling it? I want to put them together, though. I don't want to, you know, it's not fun just to get it. So Nooch is trying to figure out 
We're gonna we're gonna be doing a a, a Lego assembly stream like once a month, and we got to figure out what's the next set we're gonna use. Um, you just stun Ahsoka. That worked. Okay. Ugh, this isn't going very well. Hey, uh, Star, this is the... Uh, it's 4 p.m. That's awesome. Hey, Star, this is the free-to-play account, by the way. <laughs> so we're building these ships back up. I need Kylo to take some damage so he can... There we go. Let me stun him again. Ugh. Okay, there we go. He took some damage. That's good. The reason it's good he took damage is because now, whenever Kylo takes damage or he hits a target-locked enemy, he gains offense. And that's what we're trying to do, is gain him some offense. Because if he gets his offense up, he can handle this entire other squad by himself. As long as he doesn't die. Uh, that's no good. There we go. Like that. Oh, we got advantage. Okay, let's go ahead and see if we can kill Ahsoka. There you go. 27,000. That's what Kylo's doing. I love... Kylo's ship is my favorite. The Falcon is great, but Nooch loves Kylo's ship and wishes... It doesn't have a lot of uses on, uh, on Nooch's main account because as you get deeper into this game, it's not as useful of a ship, although you can use it in Grand Arena, which is what Nooch does. Ah! I didn't get a stun there. You guys are just giving me more and more damage, but I need to get advantage and ah! No, don't die, man. Okay, there we go. Let's do this. Yeah, let's get rid of the... Yeah, 36,000 damage. That's so much damage at this level of the game. No! No! Okay, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get advantage. And now, look at this, guys. We saved this. That was close. Selling for 300. Way to go, Dan. Congratulations. Okay, guys. So that's basically that's the uh, free to play account and where we are with it right now. And take our gift. And we should be able to do some of these bronzium drops. Star, you missed it. We got a we got a 25 Ahsoka shards earlier. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll jump from here over to Nooch's main account. And then once we finish doing the main account activities for the morning, we are going to uh, play some LEGO Star Wars Battles, and then we'll come right back to LEGO Legacy at the end of the stream. And, uh, all right, so we're going to jump out of this, right? Yes. Then we'll come back and uh, we'll... The end of the stream, we're going to go right back to Lego Legacy. Looks like we had, <laughs> looks like we had a big Lego Legacy crown at the beginning, but that's fine. We'll come back to it at the end, play some Lego Legacy, and do Brick Expedition at the end of the stream. Um, so we're going into Nooch's main Star Wars Galaxy Heroes account now, and this is where Nooch knows uh, Shooting Star from. <laughs> oh, really? Sometimes. Uh, Sometimes Bluestacks does weird things with the connection. I have to like close it out completely and then reconnect to it. And then since I'm I'm connecting to accounts, like email accounts, that's why I'm not showing it to you guys. Nothing personal, just don't really want to show off the email accounts. So what's going on in Europe today? Hmm? Well, I guess that shows you uh, we went from, from, we had like 12, we actually got up to like almost 16, 15, 16 viewers during LEGO Legacy, and we've uh, we've lost some folks here when we jump over to Star Wars Galaxy Heroes. Hopefully we can get some folks back. We will go LEGO Legacy later. All right, there we go. And, uh, yep, let's jump back into this. So here's Nooch's main account. Now we still got an hour to the refresh of the shop there, so let's go ahead and do all of our farming. This is a significantly different looking account. If you guys just saw the characters there a second ago, here's the character list now. We're finishing up Mon Mothma. Let's go ahead and do our farming. Let's see if we can get it on seven stars right now. No, come on. You know, ever since I've just been trying to finish her, I've had a lot of trouble getting shards for her, and it's pretty frustrating. 
And there it is. Cool. Let's go ahead and upgrade her right now. Because she's going to be useful in Grand Arena. We're going to try and run her with uh, wigs. We'll go ahead and upgrade her to gear 12. Ah, she's not ready for 13. We'll do that later. I think we spent these. Yeah, unfortunately, Nooch spent these to get Relic 8 for his Supreme Leader Kylo, unfortunately. And I'm not going to do that. We're still farming. we gotta get, we got to get three uh, Chupio up here. We can get that gear in the shop. We can spend some currency to buy that shot, that gear later. So right now we're finishing up Chupio, and as soon as we finish him, we're going after Jedi Master Luke. And then Nooch will have two Galactic Legends, and if you guys have... If anybody's tuned into Nooch's Grand Arena stream on on uh, Twitch, you will see that Nooch is all takes some beatings in Grand Arena, unfortunately, because he only has one Galactic Legend. And Nooch's Galactic Power is too high for one Galactic Legend, and it's painful. We're not doing that. Painful, painful, painful. Just one of these. And Nooch has actually been farming mods like crazy. We'll show you this here in a second. Actually doing six refreshes on mods here for uh, over a month now. I'm trying to really get, um, trying to uncover some more 15 plus speed mods. Because that can make all the difference. What do we got there? 5, 55, that's enough for 5. Okay. Definitely seems worth Nooch's time to, to farm these mods. And then what we do once we farm them is we go back in here. We go to mods. We pull up our blue mods. We filter out everything but the... Keep the arrow out. Sort by speed. And we just take our fastest ones. Eight speed. And we're trying to slice. So Nooch is at the point in the game where Nooch has enough mods that if, if we miss speed twice like this... Two and two, this mod will, I will not upgrade this mod again. I'm done. I'm done with this mod. I have enough. I don't need any more eight speed mods on my characters. Um, so I'm only looking for mods that only miss speed once. If I don't get that, I'm, I'm done with it. I move on. And um, I don't think we're going to have any ship stuff. Oh, there we go. So we need, we need. A bunch of these for Mon Moth. Well, let's go ahead and farm these in ships. Let's take a look at what she's got, though. Let's look at what she's got over here. Of course, these. And I've got a couple hundred of those. I think Leia, Leia's got at least... Yeah, well, let's, let's... Let's keep going after these. We're going to need them. We're going to need these. I don't even know what are these called. Mark 12, Armatech, Fusion Furnish, Prototype Salvage. Hey, hey. Come on down to Nooch's used auto, used car auto lot. Buy some Mark 12, you'd rob Armatech, Farmer, blah, 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 salvage. So you need these for uh, relic stuff, and you need a lot of them. So that is all of our gear spending. Let's go ahead and do these, do our challenges. Ah, it's it's uh it's happy Sunday. Everything is on here. We're at two hundred omegas right now. So we sim these five times. We get three of each of these. I know Star is familiar with these activities right here. Oh, where's our music? We need to get the music in. Sorry guys, we lost music. There we go. We've brought music to you, faithful plebeians, as we're farming our challenges in the challenge store and fleet challenges, getting our Zetas. We need 120 Zetas, young Skywalker. 
Actually, we need 120 Zetas for old Skywalker. Because if we get to Jedi Master Luke, he needs 120 Zetas to max out all of his stuff. Let's go ahead and sim the Galactic War. Get a bunch of shards. Redeem, no. Uh, by the way, redeeming that is based on... So Nooch saves those up until we need currency here. So we go back and forth. Nooch farms bronziums to get currency here. Then we spend our uh, currency here and here and here. No, excuse me, here in order to get that, uh, to get currency back in here that we can farm. So I don't think we got anything for Leia or Mon Mothma at this point in here. Oh, we do. Let's see, how many of these does she need? Uh -uh. No. Is it this? Yeah, there we go. So she's going to use 40. Yeah, so she's going to use 40 of those. What's Leia? Oh, that's not good. Um, what's Leia going to use? 40 more, so that's 80. By the way, I'm not upgrading Leia. She's the last upgrade on the way to Jedi Master Luke because she's the most useless character. I don't really want to spend galactic power on Leia until I have to. She's the uh, the primary useless character. The most use the if you want to upgrade the Galactic Legend with the most useless characters, you want to go for a Sith Emperor Eternal in Nooch's opinion. Okay. We don't do squad arena till later because we don't want to jump on people's payouts and knock them out. And that is all of the morning activities. Oh, here, tell you what. Let's do some Grand Arena research. If you guys want to, if anybody plays Grand Arena and you want to see the research. Eight fleet arena battles. Resistance X-Wing ships. There's only two. There's only resistance X-Wing and pose X-Wing, so that won't be happening. Um, so Grand Arena Research. Let's take a look. So we got Brooklyn Stevie. So we jump into Discord. 668. Hold on. So there's a bot in Discord in Nooch's... Where is it? And here we can take a look at this guy's mods and, and setup. So 668-856-738. Hold the uh, internet back up over here. Leia is not like night. Leia is actually offense and she's she's decent early. Hey, only Android, what's up? Um, so Leia actually, you need her to get Commander Luke Skywalker and to get Jedi Master Luke. So she's important for that. And, and there were times during the game in the first few years where she was useful, especially in the um, HAAT raid, but now she's just has no use. And it's unfortunate that Princess Leia is in this game in a couple different forms and has no use. They need to give us reasons to use Princess Leia because she's awesome. Command, oh, I didn't do a compare. Sorry. I messed this up. Okay. Compare. 668. Eight five six seven three eight. So it's going to compare Nooch to this guy now, and we'll pull that up and take a look at it. We'll save that and we'll we'll just see. Usually, kind of see what the mods are because the matchups are pretty consistent. Um, we can see it's almost always your top eighty character GP is really similar. But of course, this guy has three Galactic Legends and Nooch has one. This is what Nooch is up against, and there's almost no way. If he sets all three of those on defense, this is over. There's no way Nooch can win this. And that's what Nooch is up against. But look at these mods. I've got him so outclassed in mods. He has half the number of six dots. He's just way less in mods. Unfortunately, these three Galactic Legends are going to let this guy beat Nooch, probably. And the next step would be to go into here... Six six eight eight five six seven three eight, and we take a look at his history, and specifically defense. So what does he set on defense? 
The last that guy didn't attack him. So on defense, he's going to set Padme, Dooku, Talzin, Sith Emperor Eternal, maybe. So this is what we do. I'm not going to go and do the full research here, but this is what we look at. So, yeah, Galactic Legend Ray is, is awesome. She's awesome. Uh, and then here on defense, this guy attacked. And he set the same defense. This might be the defense he's setting. If he's saving, I, but I don't think he's going to save two Galactic Legends for Nooch. But we'll see. So that's how we do the research. We're going to do it again later. But right now we're going to leave it. And that is pretty much it. Because um, we got to set our defense for this. That's pretty much how what Nooch does in the morning for his main Star Wars Galaxy Heroes account. So... We're going to go ahead and jump out of there. We're going to play some LEGO Star Wars Battles. Let's do this. Get it all set up for you guys. And we may have to get some music for that too. We'll see. Ooh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. I gotta get this. Gotta get this shared again. <laughs> so it's three in the afternoon over in Germany. This is dry Uhr. Dry Uhr, yeah. Okay, so let's go to here. Got music. There we go. Okay, so with LEGO Star Wars Battles, the first thing you usually do is open the scan that we had boosted before we went to bed. Unfortunately, it was just a two-hour scan last night, and Nooch watched the fight last night, so didn't really have time to get that four, that level four boosted up, and just kind of went to bed and did this. So we open our scan and get our goodies. Let's go ahead and do this four-hour one. Collect our supply beacon get our free stuff dropship that's nice Chewbacca that's nice check over here okay so these are 100 crystals right now the epic you see that that is a really good deal if you're playing Lego Star Wars Battle and you can get these epic for 100 crystals for 10 cards of that these are generally worth it and that's what Nooch saves his crystals for see we're at 6900 right now when's our next event it's gonna be Tuesday night we'll get that okay so let's go ahead and go in and boost this scan and you know what we're gonna try we're gonna try and go in with this uh, I've been playing around with this deck so we'll probably won't no no, no I know what we're gonna do we're gonna try to uh, yeah we're gonna try to see how many stormtroopers we can stack up with phasma so we want to do this yeah, so we're going to try and see. Nooch got to 11 Stormtroopers one time um, in a video. If you guys go look at look up Count the Stormtroopers on Nooch's channel, you'll find it. I, I think it's probably the only video on, on YouTube called Count the Stormtroopers. And so we're going to try and get above 11 today. We'll do that again later. Maybe we'll have to do it uh, a little more often. It's pretty challenging to get up because what you want your opponent to do is set a tower so it gives you a chance to stack up more Phasma Stormtroopers, and that's what we're going to try to do. If we can get past the spinning stud, this is why we need this game to launch for real, because, man, the stud just spins and spins and spins sometimes. There we go. Uh, so yeah, if you guys haven't played LEGO Star Wars Battles, there's instructions for download are in Nooch's Discord server, and you can find them on Buddha Gaming's channel. I am your father. So the first thing we're going to do is load up... All I'm going to do is load up Phasma over here. Let's, let's load her up over here. This will give her a little more activity. We can get Stormtroopers here. Get the Guavi in here. I don't really care about that Tauntaun. We're going to freeze him right here. Okay, so now we want to spawn. Kill those port. Now, this is pretty good. We're actually building up a fair amount of, that's what's that, five stormtroopers so far. And we're gonna, we're gonna be able to stack some more right here. This'll be nice. Seven stormtroopers. 
Nine stormtroopers. I think I am your father. Quit. I think we got it right. No, we didn't. He dropped wheel balls. Okay. We might be able to get more. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Get out of the pot. Get out of there. Get out of there. Ah, we lost Phasma. So we got to nine, and I think that tower is about dead. Maybe. We'll see. And Nooch counts that as getting Phasma. And so now what we'll do is we'll... <laughs> Thanks. We will... Uh, we're going to try and build up some energy. So we're going to build up some energy. Let these guys come down. And we'll try and boot up Phasma again to see if we can do better. And we're going to save the seismic charge for Leia because that's what you do. Okay, Phasma. Let's save all of our energy. Oops. She's going to try to inspire here in a second. And then what we'll do is this. Yeah. Now we can start dropping stormtroopers with Phasma. We can start racking up stormtroopers. Okay, now we got five already. So we have five stormtroopers already. Hmm. I don't think this is going to be the best opportunity, though, because I think Phasma's going to go down right here. Nope. Still alive. Okay, so there's five. How many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We got nine again. Yeah, let's just end it. I don't want to keep, you know, you don't want to waste somebody's time in a game because I'm trying to build up stormtroopers. So yeah, Dan, Ray is a really good character in the game, actually. In any form you get Ray, she's a good character in, late, in uh, Star Wars Galaxy Heroes. So That's a nice little scan for later today. So what we'll do is we'll get this scan boosted just with a few battles here. And then we will go over and uh, finish up LEGO Legacy. We'll play Brickspedition, and then we'll head out for the stream. Uh, this has been really exciting. Nooch is really happy to have been able to open this up to a whole new audience here at this time of day. So, so definitely on the weekends, we'll start doing a stream either on Saturday or Sunday at this time. So we can get, uh, get some more of you guys on the stream. This is great. Hey, Star, thanks for joining, man. It's good to see you. Thanks for coming on board. Enjoy work. I think it's Monday. Or is it Monday over there? 3 p.m. Monday or 3 p.m. Sunday? Red 5. This is Red 5. I'm going in. Nooch likes to use his Luke here because Luke is big and beefy. He's level 11. And that's a big Luke. Let's do this. Not normal, but that's all right. Hmm. Okay, so he's coming over there. And he dropped a middle tower. Newt's just going to go straight for the tower. To the tower, Rapunzel. Don't, don't special. Okay, good. To the tower, Rapunzel, Rapunzel. I can make a hat. I can make a fish. I can make a pterodactyl. Four PM Sunday. Okay, cool. We have any uh, Lego Star Wars folks on? Okay, let's save up this energy. Yeah, he's getting cheeky and he's trying. We're at the. I mean, he's. Now he's getting cheeky. He's just trying to win. <laughs> so we're gonna have to try to win too. There we go. I like the looks of that. Need a bomber, need a bomber, need a bomber. I don't really want to spend it here, but I'm going to. Boom. And stun. Go down there. Ah, not going to make it. Okay. Okay, we didn't get a tower up. That's fine. And I don't think he's going to allow us to get his TIE Fighter out of here. So what we're going to have to do is distract with this, stun with this, 
Horde with this, Stun with this, Ewok with this. Um, we have to Bomber with this. And come on, Tauntaun, now we need to boom a ball. Can that do it? Can that do it? Oh, we were so close. That was close. That was very close. It's more fun to play around and try different stuff than just do the same thing every time. So Nooch has been really uh, on the light side, trying to do that Tauntaun, just wrecking the tower thing. But it wasn't going to work on this guy. He was just too prepared for it. But when you find a player that's not prepared for it, you can just destroy their tower and never build a tower on your own. And that's just kind of fun. It's just kind of fun to get a max win and never build a tower. Farmkov. Ich bin das Farmkov. Okay, he built everything over there, so we're going to Phasma over here. Okay, there's three Stormtroopers, and we need to get the, there we go, Guavian behind. Five Stormtroopers. Put a tower up. Ooh, don't like that. Four Stormtroopers. <laughs> uh, one Stormtrooper. Yeah, again, we're playing against somebody that knows what he's doing, so we're not going to be able to build up Stormtroopers against this guy, but that's all right. Doing some damage. Okay, that's fine. Drop, drop. Heal. Shoot the sniper, thank you. What do we got here? Okay, we could... Let's do this just to keep him busy. Maybe, and usually what Nooch hopes for is... I hope he drops a bomber on it, because a bomber costs four, and that tower cost me three, but he didn't. He did. Okay, so that was a positive energy exchange for Nooch right there. That was an even energy exchange, except the tower is still up. And we built a particle beam down on his end now. Okay, okay, okay. We're okay so far. Let's see what he does. Looking good, looking good, looking good. Yep, now I got a bomber and this is over. Good game. That's how we do it. Hopefully this game will be uh, just worldwide released in the next couple of months. Been saying that for a while. And then it'll just be available in the Play Store and on iTunes and you guys can just download it and play it. Right now you kind of have to go, if you're not, if you don't live in Australia or like Singapore or Taiwan um, or India, you have to go through, you have to kind of download a, a separate VPN, set your VPN to India and download the game. But the instructions are in Nooch's Discord, like Nooch said. Okay, so let's do this. That's right, Farmcore. We're doing the same thing. We're going to do this and then stun your Luke. Stunning. And then you stun Boomer Balls. I don't think that... What? What just happened there? Guy, excuse me. What just happened there? Because that BB-8... Or uh, BB-9 should have stunned Luke while he was stunned. Well, we got seven Stormtroopers up now. And now we're down to four again. Five. And game over. I mean, it's still Phasma the guy, right? Okay, well, there we go. We got that scan boosted. So, and we'll open that up in a few hours. So let's go ahead and jump right back into Lego Legacy, guys. We're gonna play Brickspedition and then we will get out of here. Oh, is that, oh, cool. Here you go, Frederick. Good game, man. You got phasma <laughs> Sorry, Frederick. I didn't know that was you. I know we've talked a bunch of times. I wasn't aware that I'm your father is you, so I'll remember that next time. You always give me the smile when we play, but Neutral will remember that next time we uh, we play. So, 
All right, so we're going to go into Lego Legacy. That's awesome, though, Frederick. Good to play it, but I know we play a bunch. And we're going to go ahead and do Brick Expedition here. I think we're on day three. Day two. Oh, this will be simple. Okay, so we want to get down here because I want to get uh, DigiJ's Dragon Set. And we'll be able to auto a lot of this, although we want to have a chill in there, right? So yeah, so we'll go with the space team. We aren't not going to borrow allies in the first couple, then we'll throw allies in there. We won't auto this. We'll play it. We'll play it here since we're live. A neutral actually play. All right, so... We want to get rid of Reed first. Actually, we want to do this first. Get everybody some offense up. You know, the cool thing about Brick Expedition is... Oh, I didn't pay attention. That's right. Uh, the cool thing about Brick Expedition is I don't have to save my abilities. Like, if I use it this battle, I can also use it on the next battle. I think we're good here. That was easy. Level 1, done. You know, we actually probably finish it faster by not autoing it. So we should finish off that uh, that timed um, that timed event. Excuse me. With um, was this level sixty? Needs to pay attention. We should finish off that timed event using a cold character in Brick Expedition. Is it level sixty? It is. Ooh, whoa, we should have borrowed somebody. That's all right. Let's see how this goes. We can always back out and borrow somebody. Do this a little premature. I want that accuracy down to off. Stun Lloyd. No. Okay, this does 15% bonus damage for each foe that has stealth. So that's gonna be 60% bonus damage. Let's see what he can do. 5300. That's fine. It's not super exciting. Oh Lloyd, yeah, I should have looked at the. I should have noticed that this was level sixty before I just jumped in, but that's right. Golly, come on, come on! I gotta get Lloyd out because then I gotta move to Kai. I probably should have stunned Kai right there, but that's alright. Let's see what kind of damage he... Oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. Let's go times one speed for the silent special. You know, a ghost's um, ultimate was silent, and that was kind of interesting because it was new. But now that we have a silent ultimate from Jens, I don't think that was on purpose. I think it was on accident. So I don't think these ultimates are meant to be silent. Just kind of maybe something with the coding. Okay, so Alfred is your son. That's cool. Hey, Nick's Games, what's up, man? So if so, Frederick, if Nooch change your nickname, no, keep your nickname the same, man. I love I am your father. That's a great name. So if if Nooch plays Alfred, that's your son. Actually, Alfred, you know, is kind of the father figure, but that's all right. Um, so if Nooch plays Alfred, that's your son, and you are I am your father. So we'll keep an eye out for that. That's fun. I think I remember playing Alfred too, but I'm not sure. Don't don't quote me on that. But if he's level eight, then there's a chance we would play. Nooch hates the fact that we have to um, drop trophies be just to get games. Like at some point in Lego Star Wars battles, when Nooch gets up around 5,000 trophies, I have to drop, or it's just really difficult to find matchups. And so you have to drop down to 4,000. Nooch would probably be around six to 7,000 trophies right now in a natural setting. Um, but unfortunately, you just can't have that because then it makes it impossible to get matchups. All right, let's go one more level without borrowing. Then we'll start borrowing some characters. <laughs> Good morning, Dorminator. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna apologize. Nooch will not apologize for waking you up. <laughs> get up, Dorminator! It's time to arise. Time to arise and greet the sun. See if we can get Locust out. There we go. Let's get Redbeard out. There we go. Uh, let's get 
Chucklehead Magoo out on um, uh, the governor. And then we'll get he, uh, Hiker out of here. We'll heal our team up. Stun. Oh, just kill. Straight up kill. And there we go. Mooch woke up the Dominator out of his slumber. He had his slumber in a deep, deep state, and Mooch woke him up. Get up, Dominator. Arise and face Brixpedition. Hmm, let's try it out. And let's borrow somebody. Let's borrow Master Wu. I like borrowing Master Wu on this team. Because of his healing and his ability blocks. I mean, he's just... Master Wu and Magisto are just kind of really just good all around, right? They're good for every every team you got. Look at that glare. That, that snow is glaring off of... Oh, okay, we gotta get Kai out of here. And we didn't. AoE. I'm gonna save the stun for Kai. I didn't use the special because it gets. Okay, here we're gonna get bonus attack for every. We have offense up. We're gonna get 60% bonus damage, 125% damage, and reduce his pep by 50%. So watch his pep disappear. We did not get a crit. A crit would have been nice there. And we probably could have hit for like eight, seven or 8,000, something like that. Let's reduce his pep again. Taunt. All right, now let's just get after Lloyd. He's got a, he's got a buff. There we go, there's some damage. We did some extra damage against DigiJ. I don't know how that, I guess he takes damage. Maybe and heals Lloyd back up, something like that. And done. Okay. Now we get rid of Kai. We stun Kai. Done. And goodbye. Now Aurora's gotta go. Ah, uh, no, not Kai. Don't do that, Aurora. Why you gotta be like that? Okay, here we go. Slow motion. The silent ultimate from Spaceman Gens. Looks like he banged on DigiJ and Kai and Hiker. There we go. <laughs> So what his ultimate does is it gets four attacks to random minifigures. She raised up him? Come on. She's got to go. She has got to go. So his, his uh, Jen's ultimate does damage to four different minifigures. She saw there. It hit. Um, go. Get out. It, it hit DigiJ twice. It hit Kai once. I think it hit Hiker once. I'm not sure. Easy enough. Even those guys are level 60, they uh, were low star levels, so it wasn't that bad. Just moderately annoying. Alright. So the way this stream went was so Nooch got on at the beginning of the stream, which is 8 a.m. here, and I guess it's somewhere between 1 and 3 p.m. over in Europe, and it's great. I'm glad to have the Europe folks on. Um, next week, we're going to be doing a Grogu construction. Maybe we'll do that around 10 or 11 a.m., and then you guys in Europe can watch, too, on this day next week. And let's keep going with Wu. We'll get uh, Gorwell here at some point. And then, like, ten minutes after Nooch came out for the stream, the electricity went out. And it was gone. <laughs> so I had to reboot everything, get back on, and start, and, and get, uh, reboot the router, just everything. And so he came back on... We one-shot him? Not quite. But we got this AoE that should get rid of them. Alright, there we go. Hitchhiker gone. 
Not hitchhiker. Um, highwayman. Hitchhiker. So the highwayman reminds me of Ichabod Crane, really. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and do the special, see how much damage you get. With four stealth enemies. There you go, 8300. That's the damage we're looking for. Okay. Heal everybody up. And just start getting rid of these guys. So yeah, the electricity went out at the beginning of the stream, so we lost it. Oh, come on. Played Lego Legacy for about half an hour, just doing the daily activities, and we finished up the uh, last node of the City Weekly event. We actually nooch upgraded a few city characters for that. Uh, we upgraded Chef, and we upgraded... Um, um, hang on. And we upgraded uh, Poppy and did that. We want to do a Cold and Ninjago mix? Sure, let's try that. Actually, let's go ahead and, uh, and let's go ahead and upgrade the Dojo to Max while we're doing that. So we'll upgrade ninja the, the Dojo to Max and bring in a Cold and Ninjago team. Well, you know, Zane is already cold, so he's on that team. Let's see if you want to spend this stuff. Do you want to spend that? Do you want to spend all the basic stuff we're spending? Okay. When they successfully hit, they do 4% bonus damage for each buff the hero has. Okay, I like that. When a hero attacks an attack that is critical, each spin jutsu has a 20% chance to gain hardy. If the hero's health is below 30%, also gain payback. That's okay, that, that next level anyway. Jagger heroes have their accuracy increased by 10. Kenjutsu have attack, error, that one's going up. And that one's going up again. Yeah. And then we'll do this one. Okay. Oh, cool. Let's just spend all of our set materials on the dojo since we're talking about it. And then let's go. What do we got over here? Okay, so we have to have a cold hero in there, which is fine. Because, or chill. Because we'll have Zane. So let's load up Pirate Ninjago. Okay. Actually, I want to go... I want to go here and get these Ash Tiles. Against this space team. Okay. So let's load up... This straight Ninjago team. But you want to mix more cold in there, right? Kai, Zane, Lloyd, Yeti, and Aurora. Yeti is not... I'll tell you what, we can add a big Yeti. Let's do that. We're going to add a big Yeti. Kai, Zane, Lloyd. Yeti, and Aurora. So let's replace Naya with Aurora. Scar would be so happy if he wasn't sleeping right now. Um, there she is. Now, I think I want to stick with the dojo on this one. We may, maybe we'll try um, the ice glider next. So we have three chill in here. I don't know if it'd be a great arena team. I just don't see a lot of synergies there except for Zane. And I don't think that the, in Nucha's opinion, the Ice Glider doesn't really do a lot for anybody. It does a lot for city heroes. Gives them extra health, right? We'll take a look here in a minute. But I don't know if it has a lot of synergy. It's going to have a lot of synergy with um, your Ninjagos. Let's go ahead and taunt. AoE and taunt. And let's take a big old swipe at Locust. 63. That is Nooch's. I think it's a 6 star gear 6 Kai. We can take a look at that in a minute. Ugh. Nope. Get him out. There we go. Lloyd's gone. We want Redbeard. There we go. Uh, did we get the Dizzy? We didn't get the Dizzy. Ugh. There you go, Kai. 10,000. Boom. Eat that. Let's get our spaceman read. 7,000 from Armanon, not the crit. There we go. Yeah, that's that's uh, that's some damage. So what we need to do, commit is 
Whoa, Yeti's gone. Let's bring him back. Well, Yeti did his job. We brought, we used a big Yeti just to, uh, uh just to distract. Goodbye, Reed. 11,000. Still not a crit. And let's heal up Zane. Oh, let's heal up Kai. I'm not gonna heal Yeti because not, he's not on my team. And then we'll do his ultimate get rid of. So I don't know. I don't see. The, I'm not sure about the synergies. You hate the sun, Dorminator? Dominator hates the sun. I hate the sun. The sun and all it stands for. Photosynthesis is awful. Waking me up in the morning is, is terrible. I need a blackout curtain in my room. Because I'm the Dominator. Alright, so we're up against it here. Let's see. This is Pirates and he Hiker. I feel like there's more pirate synergy down here, but... And some lower stars up here. Okay. So let's borrow another Yeti. I still think the dojo is the way to go. I, You know, we got to... Re we had uh, the cryo ability from Aurora anyway, even without her Ice Glider. I just don't think Ice Glider is not going to do anything... For a Ninjago, and the dojo does too much for them to get rid of. I got the notification that you were streaming. My phone dinged, and I woke up. There's no Lloyd, so we're gonna get to, we're gonna get to uh, just tackle straight on Kai. Let's go ahead and taunt again. Oh no! Oh, we got a taunt from Locust. Ugh. Let's heal up Yeti over there. All right, give me a crit. Oh, no. And now Kai is stealth. Don, don, don. Here we go. Redbeard gone. But we don't want to use a special. 12,000, not a crit. So, um... Commander E actually had a pretty interesting screenshot on Discord. He showed Redbeard doing 30,000 damage on his ultimate. And he did that against... Um, probably should have healed there. He did that against LaQuay with no defense. You know, guys, get a little chilly. I didn't try to heat around here. So what Nooch, and I think we were talking about Nooch and Commander E doing this week, uh, so after getting done with the stream, is trying to just find ways to get max damage for these guys. See what the maximum damage we can log with, like, Redbeard, uh, Garmadon, Jens, Ghost, you know, some of the big attackers, Kai, although Ka Nooch's Kai is only six stars, so I don't know if that's going to really do it. But let's see the max damage we can log with these characters this week. And then uh, maybe make a video out of that. That could be kind of fun. Speaking of logging damage, Ash. So we got to find a chill. Here we, got, here we go. Here's some more Yetis. Let's go ahead and put Commander Cold in here. We can use him to um, give us a bunch of uh, skill up and defense up. I was woken by Emperor Nooch. Wake up, young Skywalker. You will wake up and die. Yeah, I can't. I can only do that voice so much. Okay. So, so yeah, um, Nick, this game, this team's working. I just, I don't know. You know what? I honestly, should you stay with Ninjago? Nooch feels like if you want to try something new, you should try something new. You know what? We're playing the game for fun, right? 
So if you think that team would be fun to try out in arena, go ahead and do it. And uh, if you're not, if you have 10,000, there you go. There's a crit from Kai for 10,000 from a six-star Kai. That's nice. Um, give me a crit. <clears throat> nope. If Garmadon does a crit, he he gives offense up and speed up to everybody. Everybody gets it, not just Garmin. All those buffs that Garmadon has right now would go to everybody. Offense up, speed up, critical damage up. Those would go to every minifigure if he when he crits on that. That's what makes the uh, the ghost um, the ghost Garmadon the magical Garm Ghost Arena team so good is that Ghost can put a uh, a vulnerable onto Lloyd or onto another character in her side and then Garmadon goes next and he uses that ability and he does and he hits the vulnerable character and he crits and then your whole team gets offense up, um, critical damage up and speed up. Let's go back to the big one here. Okay, um I think Yeti is more interesting, but let's let's go down here. Let's go down here. Let's keep going down. Another Yeti. Another Commander Cold. But I wanted to use Gorwell. Let's load the space team up. Let's back up. We're going to back up. Okay, we're going the path of most resistance. Let's go the hard way. And that's a good team. And we didn't load the space. Load the space team. Okay. <laughs> and let's get Gorwell. We got a three-star Gorwell down here being shared, and she's awesome. Unfortunately, unlocking her is so random, you don't really have any control over it, so. What's the cr cringe level? You know, <laughs> Nooch's Emperor is cringe? Does Nooch make you cringe? All right, I can't. That, that's wearing on the throat. Okay. Heels. We don't want to do that. Okay. This, this is this is what we want to do. So we want to go after. Well, Lloyd's gonna stealth everybody. Scarlet's gonna be a pain in the butt. This team's a pain in the butt. She's gonna and Aurora's gonna bring everybody back from the dead. Yuck. I thought we had switched over to Lloyd. I guess we hit Redbeard? That was weird. Okay. Now they got stealth, so Jens will do a nice little hit here in a second, hopefully. Because he's got offense up. Okay, so here comes Jens. 60% bonus damage. He's got offense up. He's going to strip Lloyd's turn meter. And he's going to put damage over times on those stealth enemies. 57. I wish he would crit. Then he heals for 10,000, so it was useless. Heal everybody. Oh, he just heals her? Ah, oh, her ultimate heals everybody. Dang. Yeah, this team is brutal, dude. Let's just get after Scarlet then, I guess. Um... I'm going to stun Lloyd so that he can't stealth everybody again, and we're going to finish off Scarlet here. Ugh. Redbeard's killing me. Like, literally. Oh my gosh, he's countering every single time. Ugh. Every time. All right, let's slow it down for this ultimate. We're gonna get countered for sure. He keeps countering and bonus attacking. He's just spreading bombs everywhere. He might have just killed Lloyd. That gave us two or three shots on Lloyd. Nope, not dead yet. I'm not dead yet. I feel happy. Hmm. This team's brutal, dude. I'm not sure where to get through it with the space team. I, mean, I need Lloyd to go away right here, but I don't think we're going to do enough damage. Nope. 
Need Scarlet. Oh, okay, hang on, hang on. What do we got? I want to kill Redbeard and Lloyd. So I've got, I'm gonna be able to get a Gorwell turn and a Locust turn. See, because Redbeard's already below 50, we're not gonna get a taunt from Scarlet. Let's see if we can get rid of Redbeard. I need him to go. Come on! Oh, space team. Stressing me out, dudes and dudettes. One good shot on Scarlet. Come on. There we go. That was big. That was important. And we have not been getting the count. We, we avoided a couple counters. Oh, no. She's going to get... There she is. Scarlet. She's back. Yulsa making the deals of Gunkins, Gunkins. Okay. Okay. Heal everyone for a whole lot. Nine, fourteen thousand. Jen's healed for fourteen thousand. He doesn't have that much health in his dreams. Now I want to get rid of Aurora. Like there's so many, there's so many characters to get rid of on this team. There we go. There we go. Was that seventeen thousand? Hold up. Is that 17,000? Nooch is going to watch that back. And if it was 17,000, uh, expect a video. Aurora's got to go. Get her pep. Let's go ahead and stun Bart so he can't heal. Let's heal our team. We're gonna come out of this looking pretty darn good, guys. Honestly, if I lose Hiker, it's not the end of the world. Okay. I'd like another chance to heal, though. He's two turns away from healing. I don't think we're gonna get it. Put brick on Redbeard, okay. Taunt. I'm trying to I'm trying to stall now. Yeah, we're just gonna stall. I don't know if this is a good idea or not. Because they can do some damage and he's gonna heal. Okay, okay, that'll help. A ten thousand heal will definitely help us. Oh the bombs are off. I wasn't even looking at that. Can we stall till Gorwell's ultimate? No, four turns. Alright, let's just go. Was that 14,000 damage? Who's the third best? <laughs> oh, who's the third best, like, player, person playing the game? Redbeard's gonna have been 10,000. I think that, I think that Jen's hit for 17. I wasn't paying attention though. Tell you what, guys, we will. Mm. Yeah, this team's hurt and limping into the final node. Um, I'm going to play back that recording on this stream. So before we exit the stream, I'm going to go back and get the recording, pull it over here, and we're going to watch it together. And we will see if that was a 17,000 hit from Jens. I swear I saw like 17. Oh, good. Not a hard team. Okay, so let's go in. Let's finish this up with our that uh, our mix, our, and we're gonna auto this and show you how it can be autoed. Uh, so for a cold member there, let's go. Let's put in Kelvin, because Nooch loves Kelvin. She gives extra ten percent health to everybody, and then we'll go find here he is, Commander Cold, and let's go. And we're just gonna auto this. So we got three cold characters in here. Yeah, we're just gonna auto this. I don't even wanna play this. We're gonna talk about that, that 15. I swear, I, I looked up and it was like there was 17K there. So, um, I'm gonna finish the recording of this. 
So it's gonna record the end of this right here, and then we'll go and pull that and see if we can see a 17k hit. And that'll be the end of our stream today. See, Garmadon didn't crit there either. You, you really want him to crit if at all possible. Besides me, it's, uh, uh, Dominator, Nooch isn't sure what you're asking there. I mean, well, Bricko quit. Um, Bertini's still playing. I mean, he Bertini has farmed the entire roster and has nothing left to farm. And he has kept his roster, like, he's got a bunch of one-star uh, characters. He just activates them and leaves them. He's The guy's hoarded 50, 50 million coin. And all sorts of gear and everything. He's just hoarded. He just hoards everything. He's a hoarder, and it's a really effective free-to-play strategy for him because uh, it lets him, you know, if he hoards and he can activate stuff later when he needs it. That's the benefit of hoarding, and which we show off here today. If Tao's still on, you hoard and hoard and hoard. Third best YouTuber. Uh, well, Scar does a little bit. Look up GKM Gaming, and you want to look up D uh, DRC. GKM and DRC are still doing Lego Legacy um, YouTube, so look those guys up. Okay, I'm gonna stop recording this and keep streaming, but I'm gonna pull up this recording. And I wanna, I wanna see that hit, because I, I swear I saw 17,000 pop up there. Okay, here's our stream today. I lost it. Hey, it's no, not wrong. <laughs> what the heck? We just flipped over to some yeah. rent. All right, hang on. Okay, so here's the beginning. We rebooted because we lost power. Okay, so where are we here? It's right. It's right about here. There it was. Slowly. 1700. Is that 17,000? It's 1700. Uh, so, no, not 17,000. Nooch just saw the wrong number. Who was it again? Let's find it. Okay. So, it's going to be on. No, so 17, really like there's so many, there's so many characters to get rid of on this team. There you go. Oh, is the there sound, sound like that? Was that 17,000? Is that what the sound sounds like, guys? Like muffled and still like, like distorted? Yeah, look up GKM Gaming. 1700 and I said is that 17,000? No, it was 1700 nooch. So no, so yeah, not exciting. Not exciting at all. Okay Well guys, that's the end of our stream today. Uh, we will continue to do these uh, I think that doing this on the weekends at these times was, is uh, it was a great thing because we were able to bring in a, a lot of new audience. So what we'll do next week is Like an hour from now next Sunday We'll come on and do the Grogu. We'll, we'll, uh, we're going to assemble Grogu over here. And we'll do it live next weekend. Pay attention for that. Okay, that's weird. It sounded, when Nooch was playing it back on his computer, it was like, it was all muffled. And it was, uh, yeah, wow. Okay. So, guys, uh, hey, have a re great rest of your Sundays out there. And enjoy yourselves. And while you're doing that, always remember...